Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. This is going to be a short video. It's going to be quick. I'm going to try doing it all in one take. But basically, I should have made this video like last week or two weeks ago, whatever. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on the XJ. So if you did not see my last video, I recommend checking it out. But if you did not know, I put a hole into my gas tank. So it was literally, the gas was literally pouring out of the Jeep. Um, so it got towed home, um, the very next day, that Sunday, I went, I bought a brand new gas tank, it, had, it came with new straps, and a new fuel pump, all for 80 bucks, so, I gotta put, we're gonna install that to fix that issue, but, on top of that also, as you can tell in the last video, there was a rear bumper tire carrier on the Jeep, now I recorded the install of that, and everything, but sadly, somehow the GoPro footage got corrupted. Like I remember recording a 15, 20 minute clip when I downloaded it onto the computer. It only re or it only saved a minute and 30 seconds of that file. So sadly enough, I didn't get an install video. But as you could tell, the rear bumper and tire carrier, tire carrier was on. And that leads me into the next thing. So the Jeep is absolutely, it's rusty. Um, I've had the Jeep for three years. It was rusty when I got it, but it definitely wasn't as bad when I got it. So I didn't fix rust when I got it, and it has only gotten worse since then. But the unibody on the driver's side rear has a hole in it to where the unibody slash frame is starting to actually fold in, and there's a hole. And when we install that tire carrier, it's just so much weight, it actually ended up cracking that whole entire rear section. So... Sometime last week, my brother went out and bought some shaped and folded metal that we are going to replace that with. So we're going to cut out all the rust out of there and weld in the new pieces come this Saturday. So two or three days from now. So come this Saturday, we're going to install that new rear section as well as the new gas tank and reinstall the rear bumper. So that's going to be a longer video it's going to be a very long stressful day but the jeep will be coming back to the channel fairly shortly crossing my fingers shortly now on to the next thing i went and test drove a 2007 four-door jeep wrangler rubicon with six speed i was looking at potentially selling my jeep to my dad and using that money as a down payment on this jeep because the only reason i would get rid of the xj is to get a rubicon but besides all the issues that that jeep even had i just didn't feel right driving it so i'm scratching the idea for now of buying a jk slash jku and we are, I am looking into buying another XJ. So I'm going to keep my five speed XJ and I'm going to look into buying an automatic XJ for my girlfriend to drive. So she has something four wheel drive for the snow so she can off road something. And also because it's easier to off road an automatic than a manual. So there's a bunch of different factors going into all the things I'm doing and all the things I want. But I also want to bring in a completely stock and super clean, I need a super clean XJ, rust free, for the channel. So we're gonna start on a fresh slate and we're going to go through every step of that Jeep build together. And I'm gonna document everything and upload everything we do to that Jeep. So, if you know a company, if you're part of a company that wants to partner slash sponsor this build, reach out to me in the comment section down below and dm me on instagram at jeep and underscore daily i will put it down here somewhere so be looking forward to an xj a new jeep coming to the channel soon enough or i plan soon enough i look forward to doing a new build but that's going to do it for this video i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the jeep the five speed xj's current situation and what i'm looking at doing in the future so if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because you're going to want to stick around for the upcoming progress on the new build, the current build, and off-road shenanigans because who knows what I will potentially get myself into and what I will get stuck in. But I will see you guys later. Peace out.